Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm really excited about today's topic. A viewer wanted to see how to create a drill down in a tree map. So that's what we're going to do. First of all, what we have to do is we need to set up a, a filter, a, a parameter. So I'm gonna, I've already done that. So I'm going to show you what I did. I just called this drill down variable. It could be any variable. It needs to be integer. We're just looking to have it toggle between true and false, or one and negative one. Click OK. Then we're going to come down to the drill down calculation. And what this is going to do is this saying it's just going to take the drill down variable and it's going to be the opposite of the drill down variable. And that's going to be important because we're going to use that to set the parameter value. And then third, we have the drill down label. So if the drill down variable, and you, looking at this chart here, you can see in the far right, it's the value of one. So if it's a value of one, we want this to be the cups, the category. If it's a negative one, we want this to be the subcategory. So first, we have, we've created a variable. Next, we've created a calculated field. And third, we've created the drill down label. So we're going to create a tree map. Now, the last action, we've just got color as category. We've got the size is the sales. We're putting both the category and the average drill down calculation value under the details um, card. The reason you need that under the details card is so that those can be assigned to your parameters. And then of course we have the drill down label, which is what you see, and the sales on under the labels. When we get to the worksheet, we're gonna look at actions. So we're gonna edit this. And here's the key here, this parameter is the drill down valuable, variable that we want. And we wanna change that to this, uh, the average of the drill down calc, and that's going to be average two. So if you have a bunch of ones, it's going to average to one. If you have a bunch of negative ones, it's going to average to negative one. And so what's going to happen is that because of the calculated field, the drill down calculation is always going to be the opposite of the drill down variable. And so when we click on any one of these items, the drill down variable goes to one. And then the drill down calculated value is going to go to positive one. And because it is a negative one, we're going to show the subcategory. Click OK. All right, do you see that? Get rid of that. So it's just going to toggle between showing the category and the subcategory. Well, that's really neat. But what you'd really like to see, I'd really like to see, is be able to drill down into a specific category. So in order to do that, we're going to need to create another parameter. This time it's going to be a string. And I just had this set to from the field the categories of the category, I mean the values of the category. And now we also have a category filter that we're going to have to use. Similar to the drill down label, if the drill down variable is one, it's one now, so this is the category view, we're going to make it the value true. So everything is going to show up. Otherwise, when it's at the negative one value and we're showing the subcategories, we want this to equal the drill down fi filter. That's the parameter. We're going to set that using a set parameter value action in the category. Come up to worksheets. We have the drill down filter. That's the parameter we want to change. 
We also want to change it to change it to the category value. So we'll show this. Now you can see it says furniture, but it's a level one where we've said everything is true. So now if we select office supplies, the drill down filter changes to office supplies. So what happened? We didn't actually move the category filter over to the filters. And we want to just show it when it's true. And now it's going to just show the office supplies. We click another valid box here that changes back to one. And now when we select technology, this is going to go to negative one. This is going to get set to technology. And so only those subcategories or only those items with a technology category are going to return true. It's a little involved, but that's how you create a drill down filter. Be watching for another video where I'm going to actually go down three levels so that we'll go from the category to the subcategory to the product. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Hit subscribe and keep those comments coming.